You know, nobody is watching my fishing videos. Nobody is asking me any fishing questions. The only questions I get is, is the Daiwa Legalis good for salt water? And how do you seal your cork handles? Well, today I'm going to show you how I seal my cork handles, okay? These are the four products that I'm going to kind of review today in terms of using as cork sealant. So the first two products that I used were the actual cork sealant that appears to be done for fishing rods. It says U40, okay, rod building products, cork seal. Enhances that cork feel, toughens the cork, reduces chipping, all good stuff, okay? It costs 12 or 13 bucks per bottle. You know, it varies from side to side. But uh, yeah, it was all right. I was not impressed and then I lost the bottle. And next time I needed one, I checked this guy because Kelly's Cork Renew. Because on the label, it says the same thing. Cork Renew protects, seals and waterproofs. Well, this is exactly what I'm interested in. And this stuff is half the price of this stuff. So I tried this one as well. It had some benefits, it had some drawbacks, but still not impressed. And then I used this one for my garage. That was many years ago, okay? If you look at the walls of my garage, they're done with min wax and I really like the finish. And I had like half, even less than half of one of these. Is this a jar uh, left? So one day I tried it on one of my cork handles and I haven't looked back ever since. I just liked it the most. Then uh, last year I had another boat project and I didn't have any of more of this stuff left. So when I went to Menards, they recommended this guy for marine applications. Okay, it says one coat. Mm three times the protection, okay? And uh, let me show you how... So in, in this video, I'm gonna refer to the guy on the left as regular polyurethane, and this one is the marine version, okay? The regular polyurethane has the color of honey, and the marine one has the color of milk. But in terms of, uh, you know, fluidity, the regular one is, I would say, more liquid, uh, not more liquid, but lighter than water. It is extremely uh, thin, okay? While this one is, this guy is thick. I mean, almost like honey. Let me also show you what the actual products designed for cork sealing look like. The one that is designed specifically for fishing rods, or so it says, I don't quite believe it, is again very watery and doesn't have much color. It is almost transparent, but very light, okay? This guy here, I can't show you because it has a kind of cap on top that is not removable, but as you can see, it is much whiter and much thicker, okay? Look at this beauty. All of these rods reviewed on my channel are done with uh, three layers of this guy, okay? Three layers of regular polyurethane. Six dollars for the whole thing at Menards, okay? I'll leave you a link below. But yeah, this is, these are the rods that trigger the questions, okay? These are the rods that have people asking me, hey, how do you seal your cork handles? All right, here are some rods done with Kelly's Cork Renew. Professional grade. All right, I will put them side by side at the end of the video. Don't worry, okay? Uh, oops, we will compare them side by side. But this is just a quick look of uh, uh, more of them. And uh, here are representatives of the last two products, okay? 
my beloved Shakespeare micro light is done with the marine min wax the real thick white milky one and this one I, I actually just recently bought just for this review so I can show you what it's like and I will be giving this bottle away at the end of the video but I actually had uh, five or six rods done with this many years ago but uh, a funny story when I went to the catfish conference I actually went with seven rods and uh, gave them all away to youtubers that I met at the catfish conference and I think four of them had this finish but uh, yeah pretty much I haven't used this finish for the last few years because I just much prefer the, the looks of the regular polyurethane. Okay, first let's compare them in terms of aesthetics, okay? For me, the most beautiful looks, without a doubt, go to the regular polyurethane. And you can play with uh, the number of layers these are three layers all of them for me three layers gives me the right amount of yellowish tint it is the yellowish tint that makes the rod the rods so beautiful in my opinion because it makes the cork look old but not worn out old but just aged aged well you know like this you know super expensive three five hundred dollar fly fishing rods you know when you go to Cabela's this is the only kind of rod, exotic rod where I have seen cork that looks like this and yeah three layers gives me the right amount of tint by the way they look kind of shiny here and they have uh, glare but I promise you uh, out uh, on the lake or on the boat there is no glare the only reason you see you see them so shiny here is I'm taping this right underneath my uh, bench light here okay so you will have more glare than uh, out in the wild so you can tell the difference with the marine polyurethane that was kind of thick and white and milky uh, the white color when I put this rod side by side with all of my other rods I much prefer this look so I never did a second uh, rod with the marine uh, polyurethane so you know I didn't think that it would matter but it looks like in terms of looks it does uh, matter which polyurethane uh, you use my second favorite look is actually of the U40 uh, you know cork sealant because again it is a little bit darker and makes the cork look nicer to me. This one looks more natural. All right, you cannot even tell that I have sealed it. Can you tell the green one has been sealed? No, there is nothing here. So maybe if you have a very expensive rod and you don't want it to look like this glass, although I told you it doesn't look like glass out in the wild without the, uh, the lights on my bench, but if you want, if you have a very expensive rod and you want it to look natural, then by all means go with this guy. Number three in looks goes to Kelly's Cork Renew. I mean, these rods don't look nice, but because they're dirty, but actually they look very natural. Look at this. Let me focus. Look, the cork looks very natural. You can see fish scales on them. But uh, yeah, I think definitely this one looks white and this one looks white, but this one looks more natural. So I would rank them in looks one, two, three, four. But you don't have to agree with me. This is why I'm showing them uh, side by side. You can decide for yourself. Okay, next important thing for me is the touch. Okay, when I hold the rod you know sometimes two three four hours continuously because these particular ones are kind of jigging rods does it feel nice in that respect 
all of the polyurethane rods uh, are far behind the cork sealant rods, okay? These rods uh, will not feel natural anymore. They will look natural, like I said, they don't look as shiny out in the wild, but when you hold them, they do feel wrapped in plastic, okay? So these two, the best feel definitely for me goes to the U40 cork sealant because I think because it is the thinnest, okay? So you put very little um, and all of these are one layer as well because you cannot even apply multiple layers of that stuff. It says on the bottle you can apply only one layer. And don't try to, the second layer will not soak in, it will just uh, become sticky, okay? So uh, one layer of very thin stuff, of course, it will feel natural. Actually, to me, the cork on the crappy sticks now feels better, more pleasant than brand new, uh, more, more pleasant than natural. It's kind of, I don't know how to explain. It definitely feels better now than uh, before I sealed it. So yeah, and this one also, you can you can kind of hear how rough it is. This one feels also, even though it is thicker than the U40, it also feels very natural. Okay, this one I like the feel. I really like the feel of of, of this one as well. So the cork sealants, they feel very nice. Uh, but the polyurethane looks nicer to me. Protection. In that respect, as you would expect, the polyurethane, both of these, offer much superior protection, okay? Uh, in terms of the cork developing a hole, you know when they sell, look at these cracks. All of these cracks are filled with like, I don't know, cork filler, it's like dust. And if you don't seal it, this will fall off and you're gonna have a hole here. Not because you, you, you abused it or you didn't treat it right or whatever. All of these cracks are filled with filler. This is why you need to seal all cork handles, okay? Or you're gonna end up with holes. Once you end up with a hole, it will start chipping and get bigger holes and so on and so on. In terms of protection against holes, all four products, I think, offer decent protection. Well, the two cork sealants uh, offer decent protection. Uh, I would say this one offers the weakest protection because it's so thin. Uh, this one is thicker, offers better protection. So I would say this one offers like, I don't know, let's say 50 out of 100. This one, 60 out of 100. Then this one offers 95 out of 100. And this one offers 100 out of 100. Nothing can ever go out through this thick plastic here. However, there are other types of protection, okay? For example, fish slime and fish scales and all kinds of other dirt mud whatever you have on your hands okay look at look at kelly's i mean these are actual let me try to pry them off this is an actual fish scale okay this is a shad fish scale uh kelly's cork renew the surface after you apply it is not smooth and it's not repellent okay Kelly's cork renew does not offer good protection against sticky stuff, fish slime and whatever. U40, for some reason, even though it's thinner, the surface here, you can hear the difference. Listen to the difference. This one is quieter, right? Because it's smoother. And this one is not as sticky, but uh, as this guy, so it offers a little bit better protection against fish slime, uh, but you know, not the same as polyurethane. These two guys, I mean, I don't care fish slime, you can put glue on this rod and still wipe it off. This is like Teflon, okay? Polyurethane is designed to do this. 
I don't care what kind of fish slime or fish blood or mud. You go home, you get a wet towel, even paper towel. I mean, you just wipe it off and everything is gone and the shine is back. It is that amazing, okay? All right, guys, uh, before I end the video, let me also give you some tips from my experience with the application of this product. First of all, what I found very quickly, uh, if you do a lot of rods, brushes, the cost of brushes becomes enormous, okay? I don't know why in the United States brushes are so damn expensive, but here is a tip that I can give you to save money on brushes, okay? This is not a brush. You know what this is? This is a sponge for removing makeup, okay? This whole pack of 100 pieces costs, I don't know, I have to check on Amazon, but probably five bucks, okay? And you can do fishing rods uh, for the rest of your life. And this stuff is perfect for application of all of these sealants uh, because in kind of the, the width is perfect for the fishing rod. And also uh, the, the pores, this thing has no pores. It is very smooth and it's just perfect for applying sealant and you don't have to try to save your brush to reuse it you know you can just throw it out when you're done with it now because i really prefer my polyurethane uh, i bought these two bottles just for this video for you guys because i love you okay don't forget it so now that the video is done uh, i'm gonna give these two bottles uh, away this will be two uh, separate drawings uh, all you have to do to enter the this giveaway is leave a comment and anywhere in the comment any comment but anywhere in the comment it has to have u40 okay with dash without dash I don't care but it has to have u40 in the comment so I know that you actually got to the end of the video and you're not just entering a random uh, comment and you're not interested in the giveaway you don't even have to be a subscriber uh, I will draw the winner about a week later okay uh, with the random draw picker like every other time all right so okay two prizes two winners enter a comment oh I'm not shipping this outside of continental United States, okay? Oh, and one uh, other thing, you have to be 13 or older. Not my choice, okay? Government regulations. So, yeah, continental United States, 13 or older. And leave a comment with EU40, okay? That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope even if, uh, if you didn't enjoy it, uh, the information was uh, useful for you and you can determine how you want to seal your cork handles. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you soon with two nice catfish from LaSalle. Alright, bye bye. <laughs>